welcome back to Delight Jana channel and then today we have our very special guest here she's very shy but I am Shania <laughs> I'm not shy. Oh, mashallah. Um, <laughs> introduce a little bit more of yourself. Um, like, why are you here? What are you doing? So I'm here because I'm visiting Delight. I live in the Netherlands, but I drove all the way here because I missed her. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because <laughs> well, I can't drive. So I exactly. Have no I have no option. <laughs> so everyone. So from the Q and A videos. I get so many good feeds back that like you want me to do another Q and A video. So then yesterday I make like a question on my Instagram to let people ask like what like random question that we I should be answering like all of this. So now I got like the ten question here in my phone and we will be answering all of them for you guys. I mean some of them we pick like the funnyish one and some. Thank you. <laughs> it's my dog. Yes, her dog. Okay. And some like knowledge, like thing um a question to give us like knowledge. So. Yeah, we try to pick like a broad variety of questions. Yes, so, so shall we start? We shall start. Let's dig in. So okay, we have to introduce ourselves a little bit again in mm. case no one Okay, I am Brian, Delight Jana, whatever you're comfortable with. Yes, yeah, sorry. And I'm from Thailand. I'm a horse rider. Not a beauty blogger, not a blogger, nothing related to that. But I do this just to give everyone happiness. <clears throat> yes. Why are you uh -huh. drinking? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, I'm Shen, Shenia, but Shen for short. Um, I live in the Netherlands and I also ride horses and own a lot of horses and have horses. And she used to live in Thailand actually. Yeah, I lived in Thailand for six years. We actually went to the same school. I know. But like we weren't. We never same. met at school. Yeah, we never met. And we were in the same house even. Yeah, I know. In Nero. We went to Harrow International School in case yeah. you guys wonder. Okay. Yeah. Any training advice for younger self? 10 year plus ago tough. tough okay i would say yes um for horse riding i think the sport is mentally tough so i think whenever i got a time i have the opportunities i would train more like mental mentally and then after that would be physically but yes it's involved a lot of like mental to be strong you know like you it involves like you and the horses. I mean, I have to move from Bangkok, from Thailand to Europe alone when I was 15. So that take a lot of me, you know, I mean, at that age, we should be doing shopping, going to like the cinema with your girlfriends and everything. But yeah, I moved to Northern Ireland. So alone from family, especially I'm Thai with different culture. So of course I have to train myself mentally and to be, um, independent and solitude maybe yeah. that would be the word for me yeah and you i mean if i had to give myself advice 10 years ago would be i don't know be stay happy and be happy and try to be as happy as possible during the process of everything because like she said it's mentally very tough and draining and just to take the positives than the negatives. Hold on to the positives, not the negatives, basically. Yes, it's, it's more bad day than good day exactly. in this spot. And just take the good day and hold on to that. Yes, and embrace reali reality, I think. Yes. That's like my favorite motto. Yes. Next question is how to create friendship with the horse. Horses. Easy. Okay, you go first. Easy. Um, basically, you have to kind of... Treat them how you would want to be treated. Exactly. exactly. It's like having a normal normal friend and you gotta keep them happy. Give them what they need. 
And for me, um, you respect them, but at the okay. same time, they need to respect you. Because if they don't respect you on the floor, <laughs> they will never respect Fuck. you on their back. Exactly. Okay. And um, with horses, it's, you know, some people don't know, but body language is really important because they're really sensitive, like they feel it. Like if you are like upset and angry, you know, and some horse that are sensitive, they don't want to be near no, you. No, and they feel everything. It's so it's, true. Yeah, so your um, mindset, your body language and treat them like how you treat human being. Exactly. Same thing. Exactly. Next question. Um, the worst for or traumatized experience with the horse horses. Oh. oh god. What is yours? Oh uh, the worst eating, fall. Sorry. To be honest, I've never really had like a terrible fall. I mean they've put me on the floor and everything. I think I got a concussion once. Uh hot. But like worst sorry. experience is probably mm, Oh, I had one of my horses like get their leg. I wasn't riding it, but it was, it got the leg stuck in the girth when it was jumping. No. In the martingale. Like it put its leg up and it couldn't land with both legs. It landed with one leg, Jessie, and, and she flipped on the landing. With you? No, with Alex. Oh my God. When I was filming, I remember like we both were like, oh my God, she's gonna break a leg or something. It was the scariest thing. I hate that. And I really hate when horses flip over, just in general. Oh yeah, of course. Like, that's like, for me, super like, everything else I don't really like, find that bad. But when they flip over and fall, that's really traumatizing, actually. You? On me, well, I mentioned in the previous Q&A um, video about like, my traumatized experience. But if another one would be, um, I hate it when um, the horse stop at the fence. It's actually one of the worst things for any rider. It's like a nightmare for a rider. It really drains your confidence. Yeah. You know, when the horse stop, decided to stop because like they don't want to jump or maybe the distance was not correct or anything, but it's, it give me like anxiety and anxious. And it's, for me, it's the worst nightmare ever. And it mm -hmm. took me time, you know, to get back the confidence. Yeah. 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 Okay. Next question. What is my favorite show ground? Like for like horse competition. We answer together. I think we will know. We say the country. Okay. One, two, three. UAE. <laughs> <laughs> and actually I also love um Riyadh in Saudi. I love the Middle East tour. For the horses is amazing but my favorite show if i have to name the show would be al shira in abu dhabi yeah al shira is really amazing, amazing. The, the vip there the footing the mm -hmm. organization everything is like it's so beautiful it's so clean often. the people are amazing everything is super there all the shows there it was just so nice yeah okay next question is my friend asked any more crazy story times? Yeah, but like that, I think I should do another video on just like all this crazy experience I have in Europe because it's too much, guy. What la? Like, I think I can write a book. But today we can tell a few. A few. In Emirates. Yeah, we'll uh, okay. continue from the UAE. Yes. Oh God, you go first. Kick it off. Kick it off. No, you go first. Tell about the gyrocopter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so basically, um, we were in the Emirates and we were in Ajman. Is that where we were? Um, yeah, we flew in Ajman. Yeah. Yeah, we, we went to Ajman with a friend, a, a good friend of ours, and um, he took us into this gyrocopter. And basically, it's like a very small helicopter, but it's open. There's no windows. There's nothing. It's just all open air. And we went individually. Delight went first, then I went. And he took us up there for like 30, 40 minutes. It was amazing. And he took us all the way to the top. And this is maybe like a couple hundred meters up or not? Oh, no, it's tall. It's like feet, a thousand feet. I don't know how many thousand. It was, it was hella high, like super high. And basically this friend of ours, Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know how to mention names. Um, better. He 
we got up there like and he did it to both of us and as we were driving he just turned flying he just turned the engine off like mid flight yeah i was the first one to experience that like dude you get to saw you saw it so that you prepare your heart i i saw it because he I knew turned off the engine and then the thing spin down like you know when the helicopter like it's like but like going down and down and you think like that's it life is over we're going to die it was so scary and then he turns it back on last minute and he like laughs up and it was crazy like the feeling is crazy i just say mashallah i actually alive <laughs> i tell myself that mashallah mashallah <laughs> okay next question is very funny how to be as rich as you <laughs> i don't know who asked this question um fake it till you make it for her <laughs> for me <laughs> for me i don't know where there's a will there's a way really when you believe you have something or you want something you will automatically work towards it and gains it you know i don't know that's how it happened for me the first step to being rich is to being rich in happiness and love and positivity and love yourself exactly that's what makes you rich okay <laughs> oh my gosh you make me sound so dumb no, <laughs> no it's but true but it's so true be happy be grateful exactly appreciate what appreciate you have. gratitude exactly do not compare yourself to anyone because you will never feel that you are good enough exactly. there always room to compare and exactly and what when you're happy and when you share your happiness and what you're doing and then you're rich yes i mean i think a person that could share happiness to another person is rich yeah. and successful yeah exactly for me like exactly I admire them. Yeah. I exactly. love to see I love to give like Oh my god, I need tissue. Are you I can't crying? I come back. <laughs> it's spicy. Oh <laughs> noodles. The noodles. Yes, I don't know. Rich. It's more what was the question? How to be as rich as you? Work. I don't know. There's no secret. There's really no secret. Yes. Okay. You never know how rich someone are because you never know how much they have in their pocket, to be honest. Mm -mm. Like, I think the, the one thing, my personal, like, um, idea is never judge people. Never judge book from an outer cover. Honestly. Oh my God. You don't know what you put yourself into that. You can be the richest person on the planet, but doesn't mean that you're like... A good person or a person people want to be around or have the right morals as you have or the same morals even be with a person that has a rich you a heart better person yes yeah, a, rich a rich heart giving i think giving yeah is, giving is rich for me mm -hmm. to be able to give is an ultimate mm -hmm. okay and almost we come to an end um our favorite perfumes oh my god well guys i actually have a good news i have i will do make i will i will be making an extra like not i will be making another video just on the perfume reviewing like my favorite perfume and like my top five and blah 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 but like if today if i have to mention what i have been using nowadays every day right it's not my number one but it's it's coming up it's um this one tritium concerto i actually got this from um riyadh and sadi what do you think of it it's so good it smells like delight <laughs> she, the thing with delight and her perfume oh. is she has a, such a specific smell and all the perfumes seem to like go under this category of smell and it just fits her perfectly it's just, I don't know how to ex even explain it, but you, you can tell if if I had to, was in a room and I didn't see <laughs> anyone and I smelt this type of perfume, I know who it is, 100%. Really? You, 100%. And I walked into the house yesterday, it smelled like this, and I was like, I'm home. <laughs> I'm in Delight's home. How about you? Um, mm, What's your go-to? Oh, my go-to. Bairadu, no? You said. I really like the Bairadu, the Velvet Haze. 
and I really like Lady Million, the Million perfume. I mm. love that. That's like my everyday. I like Chanel Mademoiselle also, and one of my favorites is the Jade. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Jade. Um, signature by signature. Yeah, we it's, both have it. We got it in. We got it in Abu Dhabi together. together. Amazing. Amazing. Really, that one is very citrusy. Like yeah. That's like an occasional perfume, but the daily perfume. Is probably I use that a lot in this fall. I don't know that perfume really. When I smell it, it reminds me of the Emirates yeah. trip. Like yeah, so much memory. It's like a memory perfume. So yeah. Good. Oh, you were burning them through. Yeah. Well, guys, mm. so um, this is like our first video together, but I think we have few more video together, and we have like surprise. For you guys because i think we are planning on some traveling yes but we where you can guess <laughs> <laughs> there's a few places guess but just wait and see in our next yeah i think we will be probably like vlog we'll do a travel vlog crazy do we do everything yeah everything. like you will feel like you're with us yeah exactly and if you want to see us do whatever, just like maybe DM me or just like comment and everything. Yeah. If you have any requests, just drop a DM. Yes. And so, thank you so much for <laughs> my pants. I didn't fart. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for listening and joining in and Please sparing your time. Like and subscribe to the channel. Yes, and I will link my Facebook page and my Instagram page below. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe again. Ciao. <laughs>